now out of Oceanside, we welcome singer-songwriter Vanessa Graziano. Vanessa, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at Locals Live. I know that you're a mother, right? Oh, yes. As well as a singer-songwriter. Yes. And um, I'm just curious how you juggle all of that. I don't know, to be honest. I think sometimes it's so overwhelming that it just it just happens. You know, you just kind of make it work. You know, so I also teach music too. I teach private lessons and I teach mommy and me classes, and so I think you just. It, it, you know, at first it was hard because I have a three-month-old and I have a two-year-old. So, but now it's getting easier. They keep you pretty busy. Keep me very busy. Keep me what, on top of things. What inspired you and at what age did you get involved in performing and music? I started singing when I was five and um, no one knew I could sing. I got on stage and sang Over the Rainbow and my family was like, oh, she has a voice. So I started taking lessons when I was about seven and um, just sang until I was like in high school and then I studied classical music and then for the last couple of years I've been a mom so I really haven't done anything which is kind of it's the first thing I've done in like two years so it's really good to be back out singing again. So. But I understand you wrote all of the songs. I wrote two of them and the, one of them was one of the guitarists, Paul. So yeah. And where do you get your inspiration for songwriting? I think my kids now like the, the Believe the last one I wrote when I was pregnant with my first one and it just kind of came to me and then um, I've been playing a lot lately because of the kids you know just it, I get inspiration from them watching them every day they're so innocent so happy and that's where I get my happiness <laughs> now do you have any advice for women here in San Diego that are trying to break into the music business you know I, you have to put yourself out there I, I haven't put myself out there for like two and a half years this is the first time so I think you just really have to put yourself out there and you have to not give up and just know especially moms know that especially if you're new moms, know that you can get through it and you can still be what you want to be. It's hard. It's difficult. You just got to 
pursue your dreams. Don't give up, you know. Use your kids and what you have around you as tools to make it, you know, just create a manifestation, manifest. I'm telling you that's the way to go. It is. Think about it. Help me clear my mind and see beneath my heart fears of sacred forgotten time, beauty in our younger years. And help me find a way to walk on through this day and to feel what I Thank you all very, very much.